So today is the day that we have been working towards for a really long time now. Uh, we are going to put our wood stove in the house. This is the old tar paper shack right here behind me, and our wood stove is up at our shop. We don't actually have a road that you can access our, our house from. The closest thing we have to a road goes to the shop, and it's not much of a road anyways. Anyways, so we're kind of going to kind of work backwards from right here, showing you some of the obstacles that we have to overcome to get the wood stove down here. This is, uh, this is one of the worst obstacles right here is this bank that you can see, which is pretty much a straight drop off. So we're gonna have to uh, navigate this somehow. And then this hill right here, you won't really be able to see on the video how steep it is. A video has a way of taming everything down <laughs> unrealistically. But trust me, this hill is deathly steep. So these are some of the obstacles. Let's take another look at this hill from a different angle. So hopefully, you'll be able to see from this angle how steep this hill is right here. Now, what, what we, our loose plan is we're gonna position the wood stove on the top of this hill, and then we're gonna use gravity in our favor. And hopefully the stove will have a large desire to slide down this hill. And whenever we get to this bank, we're gonna have to negotiate this bank somehow. Hopefully we'll have some vision by the time we get here. Anyways, let's take a look at some more obstacles that we gotta overcome. So this, is probably one of the obstacles that has the most consequence. Now we are going to get the wood stove from the shop down here to our desired location with the tractor. We're gonna lift it with the boom pole and carry it down here. And, and how you die on a tractor is carrying a heavy load on an extreme angle. Not necessarily going down the angle. If you're going down, you're fine. But whenever you go to go straight sideways across the angle, the load can swing out to the side and tip the tractor over. And so we're worried about tipping the tractor right through here, pretty much all the way through here until we get over there to where we need to position the stove so it can go straight off the, uh, off the bank right to our house. So this, is, I think, is the most uh, dangerous part of the whole job is gonna happen right here. But we're gonna hook some tag lines up and we're gonna go real slow and do the best we can. So let's go ahead and get up to the shop and get this load hooked up and, and get underway and see what happens. Okay, so that went super smooth. She had a tag line on it and had total control of the whole thing. It never really felt like it was gonna swing way out and tip the tractor over. So we got it in position right here. Now we just gotta go straight down the hill with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a long rope 
and we're going to get a wrap around that boom pole and somebody's going to hold that wrap and, 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 and have, they'll have authority over the stove's desire to slide. So they'll, they'll let it out as, as we need it. Now the stove itself, it's going to take some effort to get it to actually go, even though it's on a pretty steep hill. And there's so many little rolly loose rocks right here. I'm not sure if that's going to help or hinder us. I guess we'll find out. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get a rope on this thing and, uh, and, and see what happens. Okay, so what we have here is we've got this pallet that we have, we have the stove lashed down really tight to that pallet. And we have the pallet that we've, we've fixed these cedar poles, so we have some skids on the bottom of that. Hopefully that will allow it to uh, slide easier. And everything is lashed down really, really tight, so it's not going to fall off of the pallet. So I think everything is real stable. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, and start start the migration down the hill. Okay, so we have some sawmill slabs that we gathered up, some like B-grade boards, and they are cedar, which is not very strong, but it's all we have right now. And we have a, a good surplus of them, so I think it's gonna be strong enough. So we're basically gonna build like, like a bridge that this stove, once it gets to here, can slide down. And we're gonna try to get it to where it's fairly steep so it will still maintain its desire to slide and then she'll be able to control it with that, that control line. So let's go ahead and build this sucker. Okay, so we have our temporary bridge built. They're a little bit flexible. Definitely question mark on the, uh, the strength there, but I think it's gonna be pretty good because it's not ever really gonna be concentrated in the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and start maneuvering it out on here and see how it works out. So I think that's most of the dangerous part over with. That went totally smooth. Now we have to get it up over the uh, threshold of the doorway, which is going to be pretty challenging. And then we have to get it across the floor without damaging the floor. And that's definitely going to be challenging. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep moving. <laughs> Okay, so what we have here is we've got these two boards and the lower one is like is like a, a railroad track and the top one is just a runner and then we're going to continue to put these uh these little pipes we had a bunch of these leftover end cutoffs from a job we were doing we're going to keep feeding them in the back and as they roll out the back or feed them in the front and as they roll out the back we'll just put them back in the front and it'll it'll uh enable the, the load to move 
moderately efficiently. We just got to cut off these two boards right here real quick so they're not in our way as we're maneuvering. the position where it's going to go and we didn't damage the floor that went super good uh, it, now we have to get the legs on it and that actually is kind of going to be a little complicated and then we have to go back about I don't know four or five inches or something but getting the legs on it is going to be a bit of a chore but the rest went pretty good let's go ahead and tackle those legs give me that ring trivia that speaker So that's all four legs on there. Time to get these boards out and move it back in position. Perfect. Before we install the, uh, the warmer and, and pipe it out and everything, I wanted to point out that we prepped this area by putting a heat shield over here and a heat shield on the back wall. Now this is the hot side of the stove anyways. This is where the fire is going to be. And so this side of the stove is naturally considerably cooler than this side. And, and on top of that, the stove itself already has a good heat shield built in. So this is not really a threat at all. If you were wondering, that looks really close. There's plenty of air gap and that's not going to be a threat. This back wall back here, the same thing, we just went ahead and did the whole wall, uh, a, a heat shield with this metal roofing. There's an air gap behind there, so that's not going to be a problem. And up top here, I don't know if you can see good, but that's also a heat shield because the stove, is, the stove pipe is going to come up and then go across. And there will be a considerable amount of heat right here at that elbow. It's going to taper off drastically as it goes out. But this is going to be a warm spot. But there's a good air gap up there, and that's going to cool, so that's not going to be a problem anyways. I just wanted to point some of those things out because uh, getting a wood stove to fit into a tight small house like this is uh, I don't know maybe a bit a bit complicated but I think it's going to work well. Let's go ahead and put the uh, pipe it out and get the warmer put on.
place and ready to go. We got the fire burning. We're gonna put some lentil soup on the top and try out some biscuits in the oven. Gonna be interesting because not quite sure about the temperature. We're gonna, we're gonna be, this will be an experiment, but I think we did pretty good today and let's see how she turns out. Good to be here. Hey, dogs, good to see you. Hey, thank you, Bella. All right. Try one of these biscuits. Yeah, they look really crispy. Mm. This is the mm. this is the factor right here. The good is good. Oh yeah, that biscuit is oh, yeah. a real thing right there. Mm. Hey. That is a real crunchy. thing. Oh yeah. 
the beginning of a beautiful tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This suit is really good. Well, oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess that's that. These biscuits are the real thing. The soup is the real thing. So, uh, yeah, it was a long day's work putting that sucker in, but it's definitely paying off now. Anyways, uh, I guess it's rude to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> but, <laughs> we, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.